All right, welcome to part two of uh, OC kick returners. I just want to kind of go over uh, the formula uh, that I use to determine uh, their lo the locators. All right, since I do everything on a per game average, if the player didn't play in that game, the player's not going to be in there. So this is the formula that I use. All right, and this is uh, for kick returners. All right, actual returns divided by their games played and then divided by the team's total returns and the scheduled games. So for a nutshell, for uh, Ron Smith, he had 19 uh, returns, he played in 14 games. The Oakland Raiders had a team total of 50 returns, and there was 14 games played or scheduled games. So when it... Here's the actual math, and it comes to 0 0.38. So that is going to be Ron Smith's uh, grade, or 0 0.38. Now, everything I do is on automated uh, locators, but uh, this, this video, I'm treating it like you're doing it old school in... Uh, you're handwriting it out and uh, plugging it into the dice range calculator that I have on my uh, site, uh, ogard62.net, and uh, to, to generate the dice roll numbers. Okay, so here are all the dice roll numbers. Okay, now uh, for the locator formula for short kick returners, it's real simple. Uh, Warren Bankston had one return. Morse Bradshaw had one return. So that equals dice rolls 11 through 36 and 41 through 66. Okay, let's go to the uh, computer. I don't know if you can see this. All right. All right. Here it is when I plug it into the dice range calculator. Now, if you remember, if we were starting the season. Harold Hart was out opening week. So bear with me as I go ahead and get rid of him. And see now it changes the locators for week one. And this is what I would annotate, uh, you know, on my score sheet or wherever I was keeping it. Or uh, if I was doing it uh, automated like I do, these would be the dice range numbers for week one. So whenever it was a traditional kick, i.e., you would refer to this. And then, of course, on week two, you would go ahead and... Uh, put heart back in and of course that would change the locators all right let's kind of go into the method of play here real simple uh, just like we did, did determine locator on a week-to-week -week basis uh, and, and annotate, annotate the dice rolls all right so you know week two we would go ahead and put heart back in and of course that would change the uh, dice roll allocations all right now, whenever you have, whenever the uh, board indicates that the position designated code is 09, 010, or 011, you go ahead and either roll the dice, or if you're using like I do an automated locator, you are going to look at the kick returners uh, column, uh, the players that are designated as as kick returners. Um, nine, I had people say, well, Greg, you know, 011 was designated as, a, as an OC, and, and, I, and I get that. But uh, the way that I view it is, is it's a, it's a little shorter kickoff, and in my mind's eye, the returner ran up and uh, caught the ball, you know, at around the 8, 9, 10-yard line, and then took off. All right, if it's any other designation code, all right, then 09, 010, and 011, i.e. like 04, 02, 05, that is when you refer to your short kick returners. All right? Now, whenever I have a short kick return, I refer to my locators to see who it is, and then I go ahead and I decrement, I decrease that player's total by one. And when that player hits zero, then that player will no longer be allowed to bring back a kick 
And it's great because then I get the proper usage. Uh, I don't have an overage. Uh, now for the Raiders here, it's pretty easy because they only had uh, two guys. And in my replay, of course, they're already, they're already out. So once you don't have any more short kick returners, then guess what? Your primary returners, you're just going to use that table. And it's going to make sure that uh, your total uh, quantity of returns will be more in line, uh, statistically speaking. Um, and it's, you know, you could say, well, Greg, you know, it's a 39-yard kick. You know how you got the OA kind of guy getting it. Well, hey, uh, nothing's perfect. But uh, I found that this um, works best for me. All right. If you've got any type of questions, uh, feel free to uh, shoot me an email at uh, ogar62 at yahoo.com. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.